This video covers how to get your Tumult Hype content and animations on GitHub pages. This makes it very easy for you to host your content on GitHub and update your code whenever you want, but then easily embed it in other services and content management systems. So to start, make sure you have a GitHub account and create a new repository. All right, make sure it's also public and you initialize a readme and then click create repository. At this point, you just want to enable GitHub pages and then any files uploaded will be automatically served by GitHub. So down in the GitHub pages area, select the master branch and save. So at this point, you can upload either from the web interface or from GitHub Desktop. We're going to use GitHub Desktop because it's much easier to detect when changes are made, and it's a pretty easy to use tool. So cloning that repository, I'll go back here. Just click the green button at the top that says Code and select Open with GitHub Desktop. This lets you quickly make a folder somewhere like your desktop or your documents folder. And this will be where you can export your Tumult Hype projects. So now let's go to Hype and we're going to upload this cool document with different building heights from our gallery created by Michael Johan. So to get this into our folder, select File, Export as HTML5 and then Folder and then select your GitHub repo and use the name index if you want to load this page without typing the HTML name. You can use any name you want, but GitHub will automatically serve the index.html file. All right, now we have that exported and GitHub desktop will pick up all of our content. Keep in mind that if you upload this restorable plist file, Others who can access this repository, if it's public, will be able to recreate your Hype document. All right, so we're going to make our first commit. Select Commit at the bottom, and then Push. So this is uploading everything to GitHub. And we can go back to our repository, reload this page, and we'll see that the commit is there. At this point, GitHub Pages is doing its thing and deploying to a web server. And you will see an orange icon at the top while this process is going. As you reload, you'll eventually see a green check mark. And we can go to the GitHub Pages environment. And we can see our second commit here is deployed. You can visit that page by clicking View Deployment. And this will automatically load that index.html file. And here's our document. All right, so we've got this on the web now. Let's see how we make changes. So I'm going to do a change to this document that will delete a resource. So we're going to delete the Eiffel Tower. And I'm going to re-export to that same folder using the same name, just going to click index. So we have index.html here. All right, now going back to GitHub Desktop, it will pick up that deletion of the Eiffel Tower and it's changing the index.html file and the generated JavaScript. You'll notice that this small number at the end of the generated script changes what this is telling browsers who visited that page is, please download this file again because this query string has changed, so invalidate your cache. If we didn't update this number, visitors who have this file in their cache won't get this latest JavaScript file. All right, so I'm gonna commit this. And going back to GitHub, we can see this deployment 
happening at the top. This can take up to a minute, just so you know. All right, now it's finished. All right, so reloading that page gives us the updated content with the Eiffel Tower missing. So now let's talk about embedding this in a different website. So let's go back to our desktop and look at our index.html file in Tumult Bisk. This is a web editor that we create. You can get from our website. So to load this animation from the web instead of from our computer, we're going to need to get this full URL and paste it in front of our generated JavaScript. So there it is. Since Whisk is a live editor, it will automatically load this. You can see if we have a typo, it breaks. So it is these three lines of code that you would need to embed this anywhere on the web. Keep in mind that you might need to update this query string to pick up new changes. So if you just did a deployment, um, wouldn't hurt to just change this number a little bit. And then you can make sure that new changes are picked up correctly. GitHub Pages also lets you link a custom domain. So your URL does not need to be github.io. It can be on your own subdomain or domain. Just check out GitHub Pages documentation for help with that. If you have any questions as you get going with this workflow, let us know in the comments below. Thanks.